Hello and welcome to Designer Discussions with Jason, Miriam, and Maria. Welcome to 2024, and we will be talking about planning, marketing, PR, business development, helping you plan for the new year. Welcome to the Designer Discussions podcast with Jason, Maria, and Miriam. Tune in each week where we talk about marketing, PR, and business advice for design professionals. Are you an interior designer facing the challenges of marketing your business? Are you struggling to find the time and looking for effective solutions? You're not alone. Many interior designers and robotics share these same things, but there is a solution. Welcome to the Designer Discussions Academy, where we understand your challenges and are here to help. Our academy offers a monthly focus on marketing, PR, and business development tailored for interior designers and remodelers. Learn the most important marketing tactics from SEO to get press, social media, and even harnessing the power of AI. Join us at the Designer Discussions Academy and take the first step towards transforming your interior design business. So if you've listened to any of our podcasts in the last few years, you know we always do uh, beginning of the year planning for the year episode. Again, I will say, like I said last year, Listen to the original one we did in 2022, because that laid the foundation of how you need to plan a lot of this. And then we added on to it last year in 2023. And now we're going to add more on to it here in 2024. So this episode is, is a continuation of the other two episodes. So make sure to listen to those episodes where you get the foundation and then we're adding on to it now. So I'm not going to talk about where I had talked about, make sure you have a plan that you're reverse engineering. So you know what your end of the year goal is and you know what you need to earn every month. So you could get to that. I explained all of that in the past episode. So I'm not going to go back over that. But a lot of what I'm going to talk about and what you're going to hear about, I did a presentation to the NKBA in at the end of last year, it was December 18th. And I talked about a lot of the planning for 2024. So if you were not on that webinar, you'll be able to hear what I had talked about in that presentation. And one of the things I had talked about, and if you listen to the last episode where we did the end of the year review, I had ended with a sneak peek on what I was going to talk about now, which was about voice activated interface. And so that's one of the things that you need to look at making sure that your website is optimized for voice command. Whether you built the website on your own, you had somebody else build it, make sure the technology for having voice activated search is actually available, okay? And there are apps out there that you can add on. If you had, if you had a developer build the website, you could check with them to make sure that that was incorporated into the web design, or there are ways that you can check that. But voice activated search or voice activated interface is one of the big deals happening now with AI, which I'm sure Maria will talk about. But a lot of that is happening now. And you want to make sure that when anybody is on their mobile device, if they say, show me designers near me, show me remotely companies in my area, by them saying that as opposed to typing it, your company will be one of the ones that are found in search. Also, make sure you have chat bots on your website and on your social media channels. That will save you a lot of time. It will take you some time to actually set that up. And there are a ton of YouTube videos on how to create that for your social media, how you can create that for your website. But make sure you have that because you may spend a few hours to set that up because you want to have all the FAQs, frequently asked questions in that anybody asks in terms of what are your office hours, what are your services, all of the typically asked questions that you will ask. You want to have that in the chat box. So anyone can come in and find out that information. So you're not having to get emailed about it or you're not, you're not having to get a phone call about stuff that they already know. This has helped to save you time and it's helped to give the end user information that they want to know about your company. So setting up a chat bot on your social media platform and also on your website is something that you should do immediately. If you do not already have it, like I said, it's going to take a few hours at the start, 
but believe me, it will save you a lot of time in the long haul. And then the last thing I want to talk about on, on this side for planning for the future, and I had talked about this in the last episode, personalizing your content, making sure that you, A, we have an episode on identifying your ideal client avatar. Make sure to listen to that episode, but you want to identify who that is and creating content that is geared towards your ideal client. Because right now with the advent of AI and all of the content that it generates, it's easy for anyone to create blogs, to create content, but you have to stand out from everybody else, from all the other designers and remodelers in your area. The only way you're going to really do that is if you understand your ideal client and you personalize that content to them. So when they read it, they know that you're relating to them, that you're speaking to them. Making sure that the content is actually personalized is vital. Those are just a few things I want to talk about. So I'm going to hand it over to Maria, our resident AI expert, so she can talk about what is to happen in 2024 that will help you. So if Jason didn't overwhelm you enough, I'm here to help hammer in on uh, things that you could do to really help out yourself this year. And these are going to be pretty basic, actually. I think um, we all know we should be doing these things, but we aren't actively doing it. And I can safely say, if you just take a little bit of time and do these two things, they'll save you time and money, okay? So number one is get in there and review all of your subscriptions. 100%, every single one of them. Look and see if there are other programs that have recently come online that can help you uh, do those same tasks for less money and also can be done easier. It's really a good time of year to start looking and exploring new solutions to things that you've been using um, because you might be going from something that's costing you hundreds of dollars a year. So think about like your email servers, your um, like organizational programs like your Trello boards and all that kind of stuff, those uh, that you are using for project management, just look around, check them out, see if there's something else out there. It's time to review your subscriptions from 2023 and then possibly find something new for some of the larger price points on your um, balance sheet. Number two. Okay. This is unfortunately what I really, really want you to do, okay? This one is going to be my 100% recommendation to you guys because I am thinking of you, okay? Data breaches are going to become much more frequent. And because of data breaches being easier and more often than they've ever been, all of those old passwords that you've been using where you use one password for all your accounts and it was like eight and it was like letters and digits, and you thought that that was going to secure your account, it has secured your account in a lot of ways till now. But right now, it's it's the time to get a password management system, something that you can have on your phone, on your computer, that will generate for you new passwords for each website you go to. They need to be nice, big old, long ones. And then you need it to manage them and save them for you in a safe way. You're also going to want to make sure you have two-factor authentication for logging in on some of your favorite social media platforms. If you haven't done it yet, it's time. You know, um, you don't want to get held for ransom. If if your Instagram account has more than 5,000 followers, Just plan on seeing something come up in your email saying someone's trying to log into your account. You're going to start seeing it more frequently. I've had a couple of people try to hack mine recently. And I think one of the best investments you can make in yourself and in your business this year is to start modifying and up-leveling all your passwords and security systems for your data online. All right. Awesome. And Miriam. So what do you have on the PR side that we need to look forward to in 2024? Well, I don't have anything that exciting or so techy. Um, honestly, in PR, it always comes back to the basics. And any of you guys who have been listening for a while know that that is always what I preach. So I'd say it depends where your starting point is. If you're doing PR, you've been doing it for a while 
um, you're getting results, keep doing what you have been doing. Okay, that's amazing. That's awesome. It's a great investment in your business. I have a feeling, however, that the majority of people who will be listening to this may not have been actively pursuing PR. So I would say take take this time of year and think about if it isn't something that you want to include in your marketing mix, because you probably know that getting published is important. It can help on so many different levels. The, the credibility is like nothing else in your business. It helps with awareness. It can really transform your business and ultimately get you the clients that you really want. So if that is something that you want, then think about how you are going to go about it. Maybe you have budget and you can outsource it and you can hire an agency or a freelancer to help you with it. that will probably cost you between three and $5,000 per month. So just be aware of that. If that is not within your budget, you know, then then look for other solutions. And I'm going to put in a plug for our academy program here because as far as I know, it is the only place where you get real hands-on training and help on how to get published in the design industry. Um, it's an affordable way to do it because... From experience, I can say it is challenging to just try to do it by yourself and wing it because you don't know where to start. So with a little bit of help and the firm commitment to doing it and a firm commitment to spending a small amount of time on a regular basis, you can really generate results that are going to change the face of your business long term. So that's my plug. I'm like, I never assume that everybody already is doing PR. But if you are not, take this opportunity to con consider starting it um, to add to because ev everything is changing. But the credibility of PR is evergreen, right? These media placements are evergreen, and you can plug them into any of the the fun new things that are you are doing on the marketing side. It's like a building block, you know, that you use for your marketing that's more powerful than most. So now our listeners have a good overview of how they need to plan for the year. Like I said, these are just add-ons to the last few episodes we've done. So again, listen back to the original episode, which was in January 2022. Then we did a follow-up episode to that in January 2023, and now this is just adding on to that. So listen to each of those episodes so you can get the foundation. And then now, from what we had talked about today, you know what you need to plan for in the next year. If you have any questions on any of this information at all, feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to providing you a lot of good information this year. If you have any topics that you would like to listen to or that you would like for us to cover, reach out to us and we'll be happy to address those. Like I always say, we have some general topics that we have in mind, but if, if there's anything that our listeners really want us to cover, reach out, let us know, and we'll add that into the list. We hope you all had a happy new year and we look forward to hearing you all throughout this year in 2024. Have a good day and see you all in two weeks. Are you an interior designer facing the challenges of marketing your business? Are you struggling to find the time and looking for effective solutions? You're not alone. Many interior designers and robotics share these same things, but there is a solution. Welcome to the Designer Discussions Academy, where we understand your challenges and are here to help. Our academy offers a monthly focus on marketing, PR, and business development tailored for interior designers and remodelers. Learn the most important marketing tactics from SEO to get press, social media, and even harnessing the power of AI. Join us at the Designer Discussions Academy and take the first step towards transforming your interior design business. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Designer Discussions and all of the helpful information. Subscribe to our podcast, leave us a review, and share it with your friends. We look forward to having you back next week. For more information on the podcast and the marketing studio, visit designerdiscussions.com and follow us on social media.